to have somebody like Ben Carson, who I think represents so many unsung um, social and professional heroes. Please don't ask us to choose between them. I really think his story is an everyman story because it's really about overcoming obstacles, uh, adversity, overcoming adversity, poverty. It will show the incredible power of education and what it can do for a person, how it can take a person from a life of virtually nothing to the pinnacle of one of the toughest professions in the world. Well, they don't appear to be sharing any organs, which is good. Uh, there are parts of the brain, such as the vision center, that aren't completely separated. We won't know until we get in there. How soon can that be? Well, first we have to solve the problem of exsanguination. Exsang... Bleeding to death. It's the reason why cranial separations have never succeeded. You see, babies have very little blood. And unless I can figure out a way to keep them from bleeding out, I can't risk performing this operation. The title of the movie is Gifted Hands, and Dr. Ben Carson, he actually has more you know, gifts than most people have, he's blessed. Medicine was the only career that ever interested me. It started out as a missionary doctor, and then a psychiatrist, and then finally a neurosurgeon. You know, with kids, what you see is what you get. You know, if they feel good, you know, they feel good, they feel bad. You know, there's no secondary agendas. Also, you can do more radical things with kids. I mean, you can't do a hemispherectomy, take out half of a brain in an adult. Kids have plasticity and they have the ability to reorganize their nervous system. He has two very special gifts. One is his ability to see. He sees in three dimensions. How he plays pool, how he plays foosball. He's incredible at these things. And he uses this gift of sight during surgery. But the other gift is his ability to use his hands. He can maneuver his hands in the human brain and feel things that most people wouldn't have the ability to do and he feels that that is a gift that God gave him, the ability to feel through the human brain and find things and solve problems. Uh, I mean all of these little things that he does and you know the way that when he talks he's always kind of circling his hands and he's always, he never just lets his hands, you know, he's never like, he's always aware of where his hands are and that's very telling to me because I mean that's his miracle, you know. I've completed two uh, operations this morning. Just so oh, you yeah. know, I've been through two surgeries. I did two this morning too. Did you? <laughs> I'm did sure you got more blood on you. Did you really? Wow. Seven. Wow, that's great. That's yeah. Fantastic.